Snow Pilot grabbed the lead and Snow Pilot ran down Red Palace. Grade 1 winner Snow Pilot left the Western Cape shortly after the end of summer, bound for KZN and champion season. In a different strategy to last year, Justin Snaith's runners have been arriving in the province from early and commence their feature race assault this Sunday at Hollywood Bets Gravel. But his move hasn't escaped the attention of Mike de Kock, Sean Terry and Johan Janser van Furen, who also send out fancied runners in the Grade 2 Bali Turk as race 7 on the card. Snow Pilot questioning. Snow Pilot tops the boards. As a two-time winner of nearly 1.5 million rand in stakes, the son of Lancaster Bomber out of Grade 1 winning mare, Snowdance, ran less than half a length second to stable companion Tlhuhui in the Grade 2 Cape Punters Cup at the end of November last year. Snaith 1-2, Shishlui wins it over Snow Pilot. As they reach the final 300 metres, Snow Pilot Red Palace, tail of the Comet. Three weeks later, he won the Grade 1 Hollywood Bets Cape Guineas, finishing ahead of Beach Bomb, who was recently exported, and subsequent winner of the Grade 1 Splash Out Cape Derby, Green with Envy. Palace, Snow Pilot, Snow Pilot grabbed the lead and Snow Pilot ran down Red Palace. Third got close to Shlui's involved with Green with Envy. Incredible win. JP made it happen. Lost some. Was a 14. He was very aggressive with me last time. Today, with the ring bits out in beautiful settled. So I knew when I set him alight, he's going to finish strong. He put the horse in the right position. I thought he rode a, a magnificent race. Snow Pilot has won the Hollywood Bets Cape Guineas. Right into the race as well. Montian was further back, then comes up. Last time out in the Grade 1 Lomorans Kings Plate, when adopting the same running tactics, he couldn't match the older horses, finishing down the field but ahead of the only other three year old in the race, the Huey. Charles Dickens wins. Charles Dickens won the Lomorans Kings Plate in a beautiful moment for Drakenstein. He's now back amongst his own age group, but giving the field 6 kgs. It'll also be his first time at Hollywood Bets Gravel and racing right-handed. He'll jump from gate six in a relatively compact field of eight. 300, give me another chance, leads the way. Competition will look to come from the Mike de Kock trained, give me another chance. It's still, give me another chance, give me another chance, he's to have it from Purple Pitcher. After three graded race places last year, he was set for a win, but missed the frame in his next three outings. That said, he's the best weighted in the race and cannot be ignored. Never say never! Heading down to the last 250, Laguna Verde is now under pressure from Midwinter Wind. Sean Terry saddles the progressive Midwinter Wind. He's won his last three on the trot, having not missed the frame in all six of his outings to date. And Midwinter Wind from Texas Red. Midwinter Wind beat Texas Red. He's a horse that, uh, he's got a lot of temperament and uh, it suits me to actually run him a little closer because it just quietens him down a bit and uh, he's done really well since gelding. He seems very progressive. He's, he's doing really nicely and we're just going to build him up through the divisions. He's drawn at Stallgate 8 in the field of just eight runners. Underworld three lanes adrift. There are many dangers, including stable companion to the favourites and a good buy at 140,000. Underworld. 300 metres left to run. Cafe Culture is in front. He's a two length leader. Underworld after the rain. Pomodoro's jet at my command trying to make his way closer. Silver Falcon, a player as well. Cafe Culture clings on for dear life. Pomodoro's jet, Silver Falcon, Underworld at my command near side. It's a great go in the closing stage. That's desperately close. At my command was absolutely flying up to Underworld, Silver Falcon and Pomodoro's jet. He's knocking it's on the door, the having been bridesmaid in his last three runs. Command. Like Has Snow Pilot, it'll be his timed. first time racing on a right-handed track. Red Bomber sweeps into the lead, 300 metres left to go, goes a couple clear. And Johan Janser van Furen sends out the three-time winner, Red Bomber, who, like Midwinter Wind, takes a step up in class but could be anything. Red Bomber leads, though, from Turconnell. Great ride, Red Bomber beats Turconnell. He's a nice young horse and we need to depend on him for the rest of the season. I think his horse is just going to keep getting stronger now and keep getting better. 
The Grade 3 barley turk always gives an indication of what is to come from the three-year-old crop over champion season.